Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off... Oh, we can't go back inside. Oh well. When we last left off, Sarah and Dusk finally confessed their love for each other in the most adorable and embarrassing fashion. Also, right at the end there, Dusk shouted to the world that he loved Sarah, so I really hope that the people right outside of here bring that up. I suppose I must go on to the forest relic as soon as possible now. Oh yeah, and also the rest of the group has moved onward to the forest relic to see if we can find a way back to Earth. We'll join up with them in a bit. Sigh. Sarah. Isn't my son really something? He is but a few days old and already he has brought such joy to my heart as a young mother. He just adores his big sister, Helena, Helena too, and she could not be happier to finally have a sibling herself. As you can tell, she is already attempting to speak his sister's name. Or he, he is already attempting to speak his sister's name. After a few days, really? How comforting to see, madam, that in such a time as this in which two lives have been destroyed, the people of this village are still able to take joy and solace in the creation of another life. I ask that you, as a noble mother, please work to maintain the innocent of this beautiful kingdom called Kalinka, despite the evil that has befallen her, and raise dear Helenia and your new son to be fine adults. Yeah, we're going to spend some time talking with everybody here in town again, because I'm sure they have some new things to say. There's this part of me, any time I spend an episode talking to random NPCs, it makes me think people are going to be watching this and being all, Oh, stop talking with people and move on with the plot, get into battles, that sort of thing. But this is what I enjoy. I enjoy talking with town folk, finding out what things they have to say, get some little world building and that sort of thing. Is Big Sister going to be alright? Please tell me that you were able to save her with your magical powers, Mr. Dusk. It's okay, Miss Helenia. Sarah, I mean, Elder Sister, will be able to stay right here and continue watching over you as she always does. Oh, thank the goddess. I'm so glad. And I am glad that you have been made so happy by this, Miss Helenia. Please look after her while I'm away, okay? Helenia salutes. Hehe, <laughs> you can count on me, Sir Knight of the Northern Longblade. And there's the baby. Helenia's newborn brother. B big, big sister? Wow, that is impressive. I didn't read that wrong, right? They said that the baby was a few days old, right? Or did they say months? Even so, a few months, that would still be impressive. I'm glad that you have thought of coming here to my shop to find stronger armor to protect yourselves against monsters like that horrible man, Grandis. It would be tragic to find that you have had fallen at evil hands, just like poor Warren and Millie did, only because your armor was not able to protect you well enough. Uh, not buying anything. Friendly Kalinka, and Kalinka girl says in earnest, Please, I beg of you, whatever you must do to fight off the darkness that threatens Salvinia, please, don't die. We do not want to lose you four dear souls, who have bravely risked their lives to save Sarah and Lyle, and all the rest of us from being destroyed just like Warren and Millie were as well. Strikeback says, I was hoping he'd struggle to say Helenia, like Henna or something. Yeah, that would have been cute. And Helenia is definitely quite a name. Who thinks their child that, seriously? Any treasures hidden inside these barrels? 
Iris Chandler is in thought-filled sadness. Master Warren, I'm so sorry that I always caused you so much trouble. And yet, you always had the grace to tell me that I was your favorite student. Oh, how I miss you and Mistress Millie so very much. Sniff. Please, sir, leave me to bear my grief alone. Iris. I wonder where his dog went. I don't think it was one of- oh, here we go. Nope, that wasn't it. Where is the meowing dog? You don't have anything to say? Oh, wait, there we go. Thank you, everyone, for all that you've done to keep the remaining two winters in the family alive, and also for helping us restore what remnants of this beautiful village that Grundus Marwan had jealously tried to destroy. Even though they all seemed saddened and listless because of the losses of Millie and Warren, I know that the other Kalinkans are grateful to you for having saved them from what could have been a far worse fate as well. Allison, the proprietress, says without her usual spirit, Um, we still carry a lot of ammonia and throat spray formulas. If you have caught any colds from being outside helping with the village's rebuilding for so long. I've got plenty of Ether's Ale still. Gonna buy a few of these sugar clovers. I said a few. I can never remember whether it's pressing up or down or left or right. It's never consistent between RPGs. Uh, that'll do. I just want to say it's kind of a nice touch that you can see outside of this building, despite this technically being a different map. It actually threw me off for a moment. I, the screen faded out and it's like, oh, are we about to have a cutscene? No, wait, no, we're just transitioning to the other map. If only I were as strong as you and your friends are, then I could have protected all of them myself. Sigh. I am sorry. Miss Millie, everyone. Please do not think it was your fault, sir. All that can ever be expected of us is that we try our best to protect the ones we love from evil, no matter how physically unable we may, we may to do so. I learned a long time ago that my friends will love me just for that much. Thanks, friend. I, too, must do my best to be the able and gentle church minister that Master Warren once was, for like yourself, swordsman of light who is called Dusk, many fellow creatures of Elvenia may soon come to depend on me. Warren, Melly, Master Lyle, Sarah, how many more innocent lives in this world must be trampled upon? How much more death, emotional hurt, and the pain of loss must be felt by us all before this monster called the Lord of Darkness will be satisfied with what he has done to us all. Oh, can we go in here? No, it is not interactable, so... Not going down there again. Here you go. Nothing any of us can do about something like the coming end of the world now, except drink. Yuck. Uh, it's too bad Sir Rosser has already left the chat. Somebody you could relate to. Here's Angelo, who is whimpering. Not the dollar God was looking for, though. Dusk smiles. Don't look so sad, Master Angelo. We have managed to save both Lyle's and Sarah's lives, haven't we? Besides, if you are so concerned for them, then should you not be inside the Winter's home with Miss Sarah right now, helping her to look after Master Lyle? That is a rhetorical question, of course. Is Sarah doing better?
Oh, yeah, this guy. The Runny Millsap look-alike. I still don't know who that is. Don't exactly have the heart to play anything upbeat for our gals at a time like this, as you can probably guess. Lyle. I hope that he can overcome his grievous injuries somehow, old as he's getting. It's a regular... We Porama round here. Griff sigh. Oh, a Weeper Rama, as in everyone is crying. Sigh. Not even our bouncer Fluffy would have been would, would have been a match for that monster. Are all of the ones who are out to destroy Elvania really this powerful? Uh, unfortunately, no. They're actually stronger. It's a good thing that Grandis only had 1200 HP, considering some of the other things we've been fighting during this adventure. We were able to fight off that terrible demon, but he was so frightening, I just cannot help but wonder if Grandis and all those like him will soon make it so that every last living creature in this world will follow Millie and Warren into oblivion. Are we all doomed to disappear from Elvenia forever at the hands of evil? No, Ares and I will not allow that to happen, sir, and neither will our goddess. It is interesting that we're not able to step into these spots right here. These are technically entrances that you should be able to walk into. Must be something in them that blocks passage. In fond memory of our dear Lisa, Win Lisa Winters, the ever vigilant holy mother who descended from Serena's side in the heavens to rain her gracious love on the suffering below. Yeah, we've seen that before. However, if only you could have remained in this world long enough to help us stop that monster from terrorizing the beloved place that you called your home, Miss Lisa. That was worth inspecting again. Well, that leaves then is the inn. Yuki Konnichiwa politely s with a somber, tired-looking face says, Good evening to you, sirs. I have space available for you all as of now. Would you like to stay here where it is safe and warm for the night? Nah, that's not necessary. Sigh. Ah, uh, you must hurry on to wherever it is you must now go to protect our Elvenia. I understand. Oh, interesting. A special message for saying no. In that case, I'm going to talk to her again to see what happens if we say yes. After this. Maid Yuki? What's wrong? You sound really down right now. Is it really not... Er, is it really so surprising, though? I have seen two of my friends slain right before my eyes, and yet two more badly hurt to the point that I can only imagine them both to be in terrible pain right now. Are Lyle and Sarah in... A lot of... No, it's alright, Miss Yuki. Lyle is almost certain to awaken from his coma soon, and Sarah has told us that she hardly even feels any pain from her injuries anymore. That's good. Hearing that greatly lightens the weight that I have been feeling on my heart. Thank you. Scene over? Okay, let's go ahead and say yes. She says with a sad sigh, Sleep well, dear sirs. And we didn't even have to pay anything. Good morning, everyone. I hope your stay here was a pleasant one. Be safe on your travels, okay? 
And then the other part of this conversation happens again. Okay, that's everyone here. Let's go ahead and head on out. Are you still alone? Huh. Okay, this is certainly a situation I was not expecting. Uh, curiosity, what happens if we go here? This place is devoid of monsters, right? There's no time for fooling around here. You're just gonna say that at every place, aren't you? By the way, it should be pointed out once again how some of these locations, specifically the dungeons, have more than one entrance. This is the end of the dungeon, and this here is the entrance. Forest Relic is where we're supposed to go, but... Let's see if we can go to some of these other places, because I do have some optional questing to do. And I'm kind of wondering how this is supposed to play out if we don't have the rest of our teammates. I am hoping that I did not look at the guide wrong, and I missed my opportunity to continue this quest right here. The guide says that this part of the quest is open, as long as we are still on this memory card. But that reminds me. You probably already noticed by the fact that we are currently on memory card 8. But after the boss fight on Bolissa's tree, we had a memory card change. And I did the change off camera. No reason to go to Meadows Road. Am I able to go here? There's no time for fooling around here. Darn. So, either I missed my chance to come here on this memory card, or... We didn't have the opportunity regardless. Well, while I'm still thinking about it... Are there anything... Is there anything of interest here at the port? One of those... Fragments is what I'm looking to possibly find. I'll tell you what, there's no music here. Hidden, any hidden items restocking in the things? No, this place is actually eerily quiet. As a reminder, Captain William and his ship have disappeared and we have no idea where they've been. Okay, well, I guess our next task then, since there's nothing else I can do, is head over to Forest Relic and try to find our way teleport back to Earth. I'm pretty sure, though, that that is going to be a process, so I guess we'll just go ahead and end today's stream right here. With that said, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one.